Hey friends, it's me, Brian Davis. I've got another adventure here. Uh, if you'll join me, I'll show you around my little semi-submarine. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say a few things about submarines in general. If you're thinking or obsessing about building one yourself, you might want to take into consideration what it would be like to die in a submarine. Just think about that long and hard. That's why I pretty much had to do this because I was obsessed with submarines and I wanted to build one and I just don't trust myself to build one good enough to withstand everything that nature can throw at it. So this is my next best compromise. Come with me, we'll go check it out. This is my unnamed fishing vessel. And by fishing I mean Submarine support slash RIOV slash cheating fishing vessel. I'll show you uh, how it's all set up here, real quick. Turn them on my power inverter. And of course, I'll clean all this up. I got down here my night vision security camera from Harbor Freight, just the cheapy. And uh, I'll have that on a boom that'll lower and raise it up and down so I can drive anywhere and drop it in and turn it left and right. All mechanical. That's the planical. And uh, so I'll show you inside before I get back to the business end of things. So in here we have a instrument panel, a cluster I guess, and a few accessories, and stuff like that. And I'll show you how this goes. And when you're out on the water and you're deprived of any view outside, you might very well feel like you're inside a submarine. Especially when all you can see is out the bowl there. You'll also be able to see this. Which is the view of the little redneck ROV I showed you previous. So that's pretty cool. Um, looks like it's hovering around 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the only gauge I have in here. I need battery gauges. But it's whatevs. Here's my CB radio. Breaker 3. Uh, need some support boats out here to give me some snacks. Here's my control module. Forward goes forward, back goes back, left, right. Pretty straightforward. So, I'll be able to uh, drive my ROV submarine from in here and through here. I'll be able to take a look at it and I'll drop it down to whatever I want. And manipulate it from in here, twisting it is the idea. Uh, this is obviously, probably obviously made out of a bathtub and a solid bowl to simplify it. Lots of sealer and fiberglass. Cat hair fiberglass bondo. Stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll go show you the uh, propulsion mechanism now. And I will now demonstrate that this is a working prototype. My uh, blade doesn't seem to be free spinning as much as I would like. I think there's a lot of friction in there. Anyways, I got my old wires figured out. I'm just using these two. My negative and positive. 
I think this might be another negative. Not 100% sure how that works, but here's a little proof of con concept here. Let's see. So we go forward, reverse. Sounds a little stiff in the old motor region. But I might have to get a new trolling motor. This is left and right. So this nut driver, drill motor, nut driver combo here will spin and it'll move this, rotate it like so. It'll feed the band through there when this is stationary. This is not connected to this anymore, but this is connected to this. So when you feed this around, it'll just turn the whole thing. So I just have to move this to this and hook it up. I'm not too worried about that. I'm mostly worried about this motor I rebuilt. Really, I just took apart and cleaned all the rust and dust out of it and wound up just putting it back together with a little bit of oil on the bearings and it seems to be working but not great, so it doesn't sound like it'll be quiet either, which isn't necessary, but I got some of that emergency stick to itself tape here and here and here just in case. Didn't buy new gaskets, so might be an issue. So, uh, this looks like something you're interested in. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, you'll get to see an update when it comes out. And hopefully, two more updates, and this thing's going to be in the water. And it's going to be exciting, and I can't wait. So, until then, thanks for watching. Ask me questions if you have any, because. I got answers, plenty of answers. Oh, I didn't turn my power inverter on. Okay. Let's see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, comment, comment, comment. I know there's not going to be a ton of views on this, but the ones that are, are important to me because I might be ready to jump in the water with a submarine and might kill themselves. So this might be a better option for you and a lot cheaper. I've probably spent a few hundred dollars on this total. What with the screen and camera and joystick I took apart, CB, 100 feet of cable, wire. It's not free, but it's going to be a lot cheaper and safer than any submarine you could make. And almost just as fun. That viewing hole coupled with an ROV, I think it's just going to be a blast. And I might even put some windows on the side here. But... I don't know if I really even need them. Oh, anyways, this is pretty much, I like to say, what snorkeling is to scuba, this is to submarines. It's pretty close. Yeah, thanks for watching once again. Uh, keep on watching. And subscribe for more updates. That was my checklist there. Things I had to say. So, 
over and out homies